Boom. Biddle it, biddle it, biddle it, biddle it, biddle it, biddle it, but yes, yes, yo, here we go. Ain't nobody down round here. You know what time it is. Get that badger in and on and over here. I do not know what people want. I'm done. You're done, though. Quick shit vid. Game reaction. 2-0 to Cardiff. Cardiff are rock bottom at league. Terrible, terrible team. They brought absolutely nothing to the game. I think there's massive elements of... Teams just totally bringing you down to their level where, you know, and it's hard to maintain. People saying we don't play fun enough football, whatever that means, you know, winning 2-0. We're not even anywhere near into his stride. We know that Farke gets going on the further down the season he has. I've just been on Just Joe. Just Joe was saying that this is actually Farke's best start to a championship season, which, you know, bodes quite well for us to say we ended up with 90 points. I do think I'm going to put my neck out. Well, I'm not going to put my neck out because we're definitely going up this season. But I think everybody will be silent in the next few months when we actually come into some form. We're winning games. We've lost to Burnley. Burnley, although they came up to shut up shop and did a bit of a job on us, they are one of the best sides in the league. I don't think any team's particularly good in this league. I think we're significantly better than most teams. I think we've got some attacking options. I understand people get frustrated with Farkas football. I think in the second half, we tend to drop off a little bit and we could do with moving the ball faster. I don't necessarily agree with the fact that the ball always has to go forward. I think you lose the ball a lot more often. Fark is a possession-based manager. He's a control-based manager. Comparing him to Bielsa is wild. Please also remember that Bielsa got the sack. Fark will eventually get the sack and then you lot will be happy. Unbelievably today, people are saying Moy is in. Uh, like he's going to bring some decent football to Ellen Road for some unknown reason. Look, could Farka make substitutions a little bit earlier? Probably. Does he need to know? He can't have it both ways. It worked out well. Don't know why Struick's on the penalty, if the, but if the penalty goes in, I know Struick's taken him before, before someone goes, because he's a fucking penalty taker, mate. But, you know, I don't know why he's on him. You're not telling me that, like, Nonto, Joseph, uh, Ramazzini, if he was still on at that point, I think he was. You're not telling me that they, they haven't got the technical ability to take a penalty better. I'm not saying that somebody can't, you know, Ian Hart traditionally used to take the penalties, but he was a left back. It's rare, isn't it? Let, let's be honest, it's rare when your centre-back's taking all your penalties. Cardiff, as I say, brought nothing, stunk place out. They had one chance towards end. I'm aware that they're not very creative. Um, I would like to see one substitution done around 65 minutes. I don't. I wouldn't be necessarily bringing Peru on Peral Parisley. I think he got all that right. Um, in terms of, I don't like all the late substitutions, like the two-minute substitutions. I can't really see the point in them. I would. I would prefer one sub around 65 minutes. But ultimately, you're winning, winning the game, shutting up shop. This creates. This creates patterns. It creates team uh, team cohesion. Teams know that the team will then start to gel, start to mat and start to really maybe go into trenches a little bit together, start to realise, you know, the game's getting a bit deep, a bit grisly. We've got a manager's way through it. If you're just sort of mauling players off, they don't get that experience with one another. You know, if it's Gruev and Ampadu long term, I'm not so sure. I'm also not so sure that I think Tanaka will be the man. I think he'll be in there in the middle with Ampadu. But do I think Tanaka is the best player in the world? No, I don't know why everybody's going on about him as though Gruev has to be pulled out the side. I was actually one of the biggest critics of Gruev. I've said this before. I'm not, I'm not a critic of him because I think he's excellent. The only thing that frustrates me about Farky Ball, which I would happily concede, is this idea that Gruev can come into the centre-back role when we're on the ball and, F and Firpo goes very high and wide. Bogo goes very high and wide. Rodon, to a less extent, goes wide. But Struick seems to come right the way over to the left-back. It's obviously because he believes Struick can get on the ball a little bit more from a left-back area due to the fact he's played in that position at, at times. Rodon less so on the right. I still think Rodon gives the ball away. I still think Struick's a little bit cumbersome on the ball. But when we get caught... In that central area, Gruev, he's not playing as a centre-back. If we're going to do that, if he's obsessed with doing that, I'd much rather go to a two, then Struick becomes the left-back. But Gruev is like bang down the centre of the pitch and it just creates crazy overloads for teams that we are like a knife, like a knife through butter when they're attacking. Luckily, Cardiff can't attack a cat. 
can't attack all so you know not that i suggest attacking cats or that it's good practice either i actually like cats i've got two of them not my choice but they came into the house i didn't have any choice as david brent would say but they're here now and i love them dearly they're my little mates but that's on another tangent i thought the peru goal was wonderfully taken i thought the ramazzini goal was wonderfully taken i think it's a shame he then doesn't follow it up with the deep with the easy strike just to sort of put it to bed the Struwick penalty, people saying that we weren't giving it out wide to Bogle enough. Well, like Joe Blackburn just said on the channel, on Just Joe. Well, the second we did, you know, we got we burn forward and we get a penalty. Joe Blackburn said, because I'm not stats man, as we all know, um, that we've had 2.5 expected goals across the, every single game that we've played in the league thus far, right? And today we had 2.5 expected goals from... Leeds United so we've had more today than we've had across all the five or six games that we've played so I'll take that JT suggested that 0.79% of that um, XG or 0.79 of the XG was the penalty but we've created the penalty a few people suggested that we wasn't creating chances until we got someone sent off well we created the sending off it's not like the centre back's gone up for an header and just put nut on road on or you know gone in late on Meslier silent S or whatever Meslier had nought to do until right till last minute but yeah the sending off we've created the sending off it's come into Nonto he's beat the player he's brought him down he's in on goal if not he's sent off that is due to attacking football I think it's hard to maintain for 90 minutes to, to be at that level that we tend to be for the first 20 minutes, but I think people forget the first 20 minutes pretty quickly. If you go 3-0 up, say, in 20 minutes, believe me, 70 minutes is going to bore you to tears. There's something about closing a game out. Because what do you want also? Bielsa's gone, so let's stop with this. You know, Bielsa would just keep playing. That was the way. This is a different means to an end, isn't it? And truth be told, the first season we didn't go up with Bielsa... The first season we didn't go up with Farke. The season that Farke went up with Norwich was against Bielsa. So let's not, you know, I love Bielsa. Bielsa is the West Coast warlord. I will not have it argued. He's my favourite manager in history. He will always be my favourite manager at Leeds United, no matter what happens. If truly, if Farke took us to a Champions League final, I would still prefer Bielsa. There's something about the bloke. It's got nothing to do with Bielsa, this. I definitely don't want Moyers in. I like Farke. I'm Farke in. Stop farking me off with it. It's boring. I can't believe after a 2 0 win against a team that people complain about, it's a difficult place to go. I don't care whether they're bottom at league. Traditionally, teams that are bottom at league are quite hard to play against. Granted, Cardiff wasn't particularly hard to play against today, but we beat them 2 0. Could have been 5 0, wasn't. It's 2 0. It's a long way to travel. They're coming back with three points. With four points off top of summit, I think. I'm not sure off top of my head. Let's have a quick look. Oh, fuck it. I don't, we're sixth. We've got nine points. No, no, sorry. We're sixth. We've got 11 points. Burnley, who've just beat us, have got 13 points. They're third. So, 16 points. We're on 11. So, we're five points off West Brom at top, who will not be able to maintain the pace that they're at because West Brom are shit. I think most of the teams in the league are a bit shit. We've got it on lockdown. I've lost my train of thought because I ended up Googling stuff. I'm not down because nobody's down round here. Leave us a comment, subscribe, like, shout out to everybody that were in my live stream today. It's much appreciated. I will do it more often for the away games. Get behind the team, boys. Let's up the wild bangs AJ out. Ya boy. Boom. <laughs> <laughs>